Welcome to the Digital Photography Podcast Video Edition, episode number 20 for Sunday, March 2nd, 2008. In tonight's episode, we're going to look at a feature of Photoshop CS3 Extended known as Image Stacks and one of the cool things you can do with it. Now, I have Lightroom up here just to show you an example of uh, one of the reasons why you might want to use this feature. Imagine uh, you wanted to get a picture of this stretch of freeway without any cars on it. Now this same uh, scenario could apply to say you want to get a picture of a, a courtyard or a shopping mall or an amusement park or something without any people in it. It's very difficult to find a stretch of freeway with no cars or an amusement park with no people or a, you know, a courtyard with no people in it. So here's a cool trick. What, are you, what you do is mount your camera on a tripod and go out and take a series of pictures like I did here. I took uh, 15 pictures and that's, that's enough. I'm not sure exactly what the magic number is, but I think around uh, you know 15 is a good number. So what you're trying to do when you get these exposures is get enough exposures so that every area of the photo is captured in at least one exposure without a vehicle on it. Say like in this image here you see this truck pulling a trailer and in this one you see that area where the truck was uh, there's nothing there. So you have to get enough exposure so that at least one image in here has every area without a vehicle on it or if you're shooting in a uh, indoors in a shopping mall or a courtyard or something you want to shoot enough so that there's the whole image is captured without people in each spot kind of hard to explain but you'll see in a minute when we process this what I mean so I just brought Lightroom up to show you the images that I captured uh, the real work is done in Photoshop and we'll show you how that works you go here to the scripts and load files into stack is the command. And we'll browse for our files. Go to the desktop, to the freeway, select all. And I'm not going to automatically align sources because that takes extra time and I used a tripod so I'm sure it won't be necessary but you do want to do this uh, option here create smart object after loading layers and then you just click OK and Photoshop starts processing these images now I'm actually going to pause the recording here for a minute because this does take a while I on this computer it may even be about 10 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording here and we'll be back in just a second okay it's finished now and it didn't take quite as long as I thought but it did take a couple of minutes now looking at this image it doesn't really look like it's done anything but what it's done is it's stacked up all the images on top of each other and aligned them all and now this is where the real trick comes go into the layer palette and go down to smart objects go to stack mode and there's a quite a few different modes here you can try and experiment with but the real cool one I think is this one here median and we'll see how long this takes I might have to pause this as well but if it pops up pretty quick you're gonna see the results and see why I chose median okay well I'm gonna go ahead and pause it because it looks like this is gonna take a minute also okay we're back now it's finished and you can see the final result uh, somehow through some kind of magic it's picked out all of the vehicles and removed them now this is something uh, that you could do yourself using the cloning tool and you know cutting and pasting and things like that but this is a whole lot easier than doing that and you can see here uh, the applications for this you know maybe uh, architecture engineering computer graphics you know CGI or background masks for movies you know maybe you just want to capture a scene but you don't want people cars things like that keeping in mind that what this uh, process gets rid of is anything that's moving from image to image so if there was a car 
you know, parked on the side of the road here throughout that series of images, it would still be showing up there. Or if you were shooting a courtyard or a shopping mall or an amusement park and somebody was sitting on a bench or something and they didn't really move much through the whole series of pictures, they'd still be there too. So what this this uh, algorithm in Photoshop does, it looks for things that are moving uh, between the different photos and just gets rid of them. So that's it for this time. Uh, I think if you have Photoshop CS3 and you want to give this a try, I think it could be great fun and there are some real practical applications. As you can see here, I'm just clicking through uh, the sort of a before and after. There could be some real practical applications, like I said, in engineering or architecture or uh, film industry, but it's, it's just a fun tool to play with also. I can just imagine going somewhere like Disney World or an amusement park and shooting a place like uh, Main Street, Disneyland, where there's just hundreds and thousands of people and getting home and processing it this way and getting rid of all the people to see what that place would look like with nobody in it. That could be kind of fun. So if you have uh, Photoshop CS3 extended, you can uh, get to the image stacks and try this out. So until next time, keep on shooting.